Well, Steve, a little bit nervier than I, I'd imagine you'd have liked at the end, but yeah, another three points all the same. Yeah, good, um, good performance. It's the first thing that springs to my mind. I thought very professional. Uh, and obviously it's a, it's a good result, you know, to win 2-1. Of course, I would have liked it to get a clean sheet. Um, and you're right, it made it a little bit of an interesting finish there for the last seven or eight minutes because of the goal they got. But uh, overall, I've got to say, I was really, really pleased with the lads there. I don't know quite what you're saying before kickoff, but against Millwall, 69 seconds, five minutes today. So a little bit slack at the start. Yeah, but, sorry uh, about that. You know, a good goal, or, yeah, a great start, and Reese Gregor Cox with another goal. Yeah, I mean, look, that's ex what he did there for his goal is exactly what we've seen him do the last couple of years. He chases down absolutely everything, and uh, Yun's played a good ball in behind, in between the two centre halves, and he just he wasn't favourite for it, and he just got a little nick there ahead of the centre halves and the goalkeeper, and it sums him up really. His attitude, his running, his commitment, his desire. You know, he's still 17 years of age, and really, really pleased for him. And there wasn't a great deal of chances for you know, the, the majority of the game, but the, the quality shone through, I'd imagine, with the, the goal with Frankie's free kick and Michael's header. Yeah, well, do you know what? I, w I kind of expected that because they're top, obviously, as you know, they're top of the Northern League. We're top of the Southern uh, Division. I played them down here last year in the under-18s and we lost 1-0. It was a very, very tight game, so I knew it was going to be really competitive, and it was, uh, but, you know, on my... For, for me, we edged it, you know, and like I said, I think 2 0 might have been about the right result, but hey, they, they scored their goal, and like we just said there a few minutes ago, they made the last few minutes interesting, but overall, I've got to say, I was really, really pleased with the lads. And this afternoon, we saw we saw Yun again at left back and Richard Dunn slotting in at centre half next to Cole Donaldson, and again, the defence and the, the midfield seemed to, you know, stop Forrest creating too much, really. Yeah, they didn't. I never, honestly, I never saw them scoring, you know, no disrespect to them. They're, they're a good team, but we sort of we defended really, really well again. And uh, Dunny was aware, and Ewan is aware, and even Murphy and Goal, they're aware that we, you know, haven't conceded too many goals this season. Um, and so they're a little bit disappointed, I think, with that. But for them, boys, Ewan Dunny, who, who I thought played very, very well, by the way, Ewan and Dunny, and Murph, who, who didn't have loads to do, but his decision making, kicking was excellent. For them, boys, it's an Another 90 minutes is good for them, it, it, the managers here watching, but also for the younger players in particular, you know, and that really is the main focus of my job, for them to be in the eyes of the manager, Glenn Hoddle, Joe Jordan, Kevin Bond, and countless, you know, like scouts from other clubs, because we'll, we'll be looking to get some of these boys out on loan. But um, some, some good performances today, and uh, I, I thought thoroughly deserved to win the game. And I remember speaking to you before the Millwall game, you said the, the Millwall and the Forest games would be your, your two toughest tests, so to come away with, with six points would be, uh, must be uh, incredibly pleasing. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think when I, when I go away and reflect uh, on the game and think about the bits and pieces, you know, with, with ten, I'll be really pleased, with ten minutes to go, um, I was thinking what a very professional sort of job it had been. You know, the start of the second half, the first 15 minutes, they sort of dominated and forced us back. But then we settled down and found a way through them. We made some passes and I thought it was a really, really good football. Um, to get six points out of these two games, obviously, is very, very good. I have said to the players, don't look at the table too much, you know, till after sort of Christmas. I know it's a bit of a cliche. We're top right now. We've got a strong team. Some of these boys will go out and hopefully the boys that come in then will we'll keep that going. But for now, like I said top is good but you know the discipline and the professionalism of the boys not just in matches but in training every day is really good and I'm, I'm very pleased about that and Leeds United away next I guess you'll be looking for, for more of the same up there I think I think on paper you look at that and you think it's going to be a tough game and, and, and I'm, I'm sure it will be all of them are tough but um we're doing well. We've got some good consistency going. We've built quite well. You know, you've been at all the games, obviously, and two draws at the start, but two tough away games. And now we're on a good run of like winning games. Look, if we can just keep that kind of level of performance up, that kind of attitude and discipline, uh, and that's really important to me, you know, the behaviour of the players on and off the pitch, you know, and, uh, and their work rate. If they can just keep that going, then I'll be pleased. If we get a result out of it, then obviously, you know, I'll be even more pleased.